and showers and storms developing off to our north, even a few higher elevation snow showers around the Sangre de Cristos. Meanwhile, it's been more or less sunshine for us here in Roswell and back towards Carlsbad. You get on over the state line into far west Texas and a few showers developing down there. Nothing severe, though. 45 degrees and mainly clear for tonight. Tomorrow, we'll climb well on up into the 70s, a little bit warmer than what we have been seeing, maybe a spot shower or two, but uh, right now, it looks like the bulk of the activity may just be off to our north. 62 Tucumcari, 68 right now, Clovis, some 70s from Roswell to Hobbs and Carlsbad, obviously much cooler in our mountain locations, and wind speeds anywhere from 5 to 15 miles per hour. So there's the storm system. It's continuing to sit in that same location, and there's nothing in the way of the upper level flow to kick this storm on out of here, at least not yet. It's going to take a couple of days for that to happen. So it's another cool night under this northwesterly flow. Temperatures right now in the third are expected to be in the 30s and 20s off to our north. Also for the four corners, the Rio Grande Valley will see overnight lows into the 40s around Albuquerque, Santa Rosa, 41 degrees and 37 in Santa Fe. Meanwhile, a little bit on the milder side around Roswell, Carlsbad, and back towards the dimming area. So thanks to this northwesterly flow in this storm system. We're going to stay on the cool side and even seeing a few showers expected to continue for the northeastern quadrant of the state. And it's going to kind of sit there for at least the next 24 to 36 hours before it kicks on out of here. And by the time it does that, the weekend will be slightly drier and temperatures will begin to climb back up. So here's the precipitation forecast. Overnight tonight, the showers kind of diminish, but we will see a few popping up into tomorrow morning in higher elevated snow showers off to our north and maybe a stray shower developing or at least passing through Roswell. That's not out of the question. Right now, that cold air is right along the central mountain chain of the Rockies with 40s in Denver, 60s in Albuquerque, 69 Oklahoma City. Meanwhile, much of the West Coast, they're getting some Santa Ana wind out in Los Angeles. Very dangerous situation out there when it comes to wildfires anyway. Nearing 100 degrees right now. 80 in New Orleans, Atlanta. Of course, they are recovering from very heavy rains and flooding out there. Temperatures expected to be in, or in the 80s right now. 70s tonight out there with cold temperatures across much of the Intermountain West. 57, by the way, up there tomorrow for highs. For us tonight, we'll drop in the 30s and 40s, and tomorrow, anywhere from the 50s in Cloudcroft to 60s in Rideau, so 70s from Roswell to Hobbs and Carlsbad, potential for a stray shower or storm for tomorrow as well. So tomorrow will be a little cool for us in the afternoon, but we're warming back up into the 80s by Friday, and the weekend with plenty of sunshine and drier air moving in. You can bet that those numbers are going to look a little bit more impressive, nearing the low 90s by Sunday, and overnight lows hanging in the 40s and 50s. Looks like the dry weather continues into next week, Monday and Tuesday. We'll continue with highs in the upper 80s to near 90 degrees, and overnight lows continuing as well into the 50s before our next storm enters into the picture by the middle of next week.